months, we sold $2 million of uh, software, which is an insane success, right? It exploded in my face. Uh, somehow, the market product fit, product market fit was there. Uh, I got lucky, I don't know what it was, but you know, instant success. You think about this and, um, and you're like, okay, great, I can do this too, right? Well, the way I see it is that this is the same chart, but this is the time when I went when I moved to California, right? I graduated from school, knowing something about software programming, but nothing about anything else. And I went and I worked at Macromedia, and then got by Adobe, blah blah blah. So I did my six years where I was sucking in knowledge from everybody around me. I was able to fail uh, in a very sheltered environment, right? Um, I was able to uh, see. Some products went well, some products didn't go well. I, I learned so much and I built such a network of, uh, of friends and advisors during that time that without which I don't think I would have been successful at all. And then to put it in an even more perspective, you can't even see it, the China is off to the right. But this is this is when I started programming, when I was 12 years old. And uh, do you know about the 10,000 hour rule? Have you heard of it? No? Oh, this is good. Uh, so they, they did this study where they interviewed the best of the best in all sorts of different fields. Uh, sports people, right? Basketball players, etc. Uh, but also lawyers, also writers, also any kind of field. And they said, when did you start doing the, your job? And uh, when did you think you got good at it? When did you realize you were an expert? And they asked everybody, and no matter what they did, the answer said, the answer was, they did the math, and it was about after 10,000 hours of doing this thing, right? If you shoot basketball for 10,000 hours, you're gonna be good. That's a long time, that's about 10 years, depending on how much you, you do it, it's between five and 10 years. To me, programming, took, it took me 20 years. <laughs> So it's pretty, pretty, I did it pretty slowly, uh, I, I'm not a genius. Um, but one day I realized, oh, I can, I, I'm pretty good at this programming thing. People come, came to me asking for advice, my software ran, had a few bugs, I was fast, I could keep a lot of information in my head. Of course, after 20 years, I better, right? Uh, but that's also, to me, a key ingredient. If I didn't think that the programming part I could handle easily, I would never have jumped into the unknown of all the business stuff, right? Right now, I am five years into my 10,000 hours of being a CEO of a software company. And I, I can see a few times that I'm starting to become pretty good at something. But I'm a total rookie. I, I cannot wait for the time to pass. The problem is, you can't really shrink it. Uh, you know, you have to put the time to become wiser, right? To, to have more experiences and, and more failures so that you you really get hurt and you learn the lessons really well. Uh, so, I encourage you guys to start doing your, find your passion and start doing your 10,000 hours as soon as possible because it's gonna take a long time um, to, to become good at something or at least start something. It, it is a great feeling to be an expert at something. It, it really is, I hope. Uh, I, I wish that to everybody to, to be able in their lifetime to do, to be able to do, be an expert of anything. It doesn't have to be something that makes you money, but it probably will. Uh, 